Hello, this is Steven from OnlineAnalogs.com and in this tutorial we'll show you how to root your Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge using a custom recovery. This is very useful, especially if you intend to install a custom firmware on your phone. But even if you just need to root your phone for other purposes, it's a straightforward method and why work when other methods will fail. First of all, you have to download the files needed for rooting, basically the program Odin, the TWARP custom recovery and the fix for DM verify plus SuperSU and of course Samsung drivers if you don't have them installed already. The links for all the files are in our written tutorial and uh, we'll see a link for that in our description below. Once you downloaded everything, install the Samsung drivers if they are not installed already. On the phone, go to settings, about, then from software info, tap seven times on the build number till uh, we'll see a notification that you are a developer. After this, developer options will show in settings menu. Now go back to settings and from uh, developer options enable OEM unlock and USB debugging. After you're done this, connect the phone to your computer in normal mode, JS like it is now, and transfer two of the files you downloaded, SuperSue app and the DM very file fix file. Once you transfer these files, can turn off your phone in order to put it in download mode. To put it in download mode, hold home, power and volume down in the same time till you see a warning screen. Then press the volume up to continue. Should see a picture showing downloading. Then you know you're in the right mode. Now back to the computer, extract Odin and open it. For the AP field, select the twarp recovery that you just downloaded. Connect the phone in download mode to the computer and if the drivers are installed, the COM port from Odin will become blue. This means that everything is ready and can press the start button. I recommend to try and put the phone directly in recovery mode and do not let it boot up normally, then turn back off. To do this, it is important to move very fast and hold home power and volume up exactly when it starts rebooting and keep holding till you'll get to TWARP recovery mode. Once in the recovery mode, go to the bottom and swipe to allow modification. This way you'll get to the TWARP menu. From here select install and you'll be taken to the phone memory where you can navigate to the place where you transferred the two files. Select first the beta SuperSU file and uh, swipe to confirm the flash. Should take a few seconds. After that, when the flash is completed, Go back to the install menu and press again install and this time select the DM fix file. It is very important to flash this one because if not the phone will get stuck in a reboot cycle. After you find the file and select it, swipe again to flash it. Once the flash is successful, you should see the option to reboot on the bottom right. Press that and the phone will start rebooting. We reboot by itself two times, so no worry if it's taking a bit longer, but at the end we'll start normally and you will have the SuperSU app on your device. As you see, I have opened it and it works ok. That is a very good confirmation that the root was successful. I have restored the phone after performing this root method and I can confirm it works ok without any error caused by DM Verify. Hope this tutorial helped you root your S7 and if you have any question or problem, please leave a comment below. If you need to unlock your S7, please contact us on our website onlineunlocks.com. Thank you very much.